Yeah, I've cut as much grass as I can until the sun gets on the rest of it. This is very wet still, but I thought if we're going to get rain this afternoon, uh, we need to, you know, get going. So we've done a fair bit. Uh, we've done, I suppose, three quarters. There's a bit over there the sun hasn't got to yet, and we'll get there a little later on. And keep an eye on the weather, and uh, we'll see how things progress. Haven't checked the weather forecast this morning yet, but we'll do that. Um, hopefully we, we're not going to get as much rain as people say. This is going to be disgraceful if we do. They were, they were saying we, that we heard stories that we were going to get up to 100 millimetres, like four inches of rain. And uh, that's incredible. In Echuca, Moama and through there on the Murray, we're going to get uh, uh, just washed away. <laughs> anyway, that's what people say. You have to double check these days to find out what's going on. And we will do that. And in case you're wondering, hey, that boy is still wearing the same shirt from yesterday. Well, maybe. <coughs> No, actually, what this shirt is, I got it at uh, Big W. It's uh, made of the same fabric, I believe. It's that quick dry fabric. And it's um, the same as the higher end work shirts, the fluoros, only it's not fluoro, it's, it, it's black, obviously. And, uh, but the, the higher end fluoros that are the quick dry sort of things. Um, they were about 20 to $25. And when I saw this and I felt it and I've gone, you know, that's really nice. So I went back and got a couple more because my fluoro work shirts were, were always about the seven ninety five. dollars uh, I never paid more than eight bucks for one of those things. And, oh, and seriously, uh, uh, the pheromones that came out of those shirts, because you've got to hang them on the line. You can't, you sweat in them. And you've got to hang them on the line. You can't just put them in a dryer and expect them to be. When I say pheromones, I mean they stunk. You know, and a lot of my work colleagues absolutely were rank because they had dryers instead of actually hanging them out on the line. And even if you dry them inside on a, in front of the fire, it's better than sticking them in a dryer because they just don't do this. Anyway, that's beside the point. This cost $8. It's called Circuit. And you can tell by the, that stripe on the back. Did you see the stripe on the back up here? And uh, you can get more expensive ones. If you, if you don't want black or blue, uh, you can pay $10 and get greys and greens and whatever. But... Uh, I just went back and got another black one and a blue one. So anyway, but these are good. And I'll let you know how they, how they work out uh, with sweating in them. Uh, hasn't worked out too bad at the moment, but um, I only had this on for half a day yesterday. And I thought I'll give it a run because I'm out here uh, cutting the grass and uh, then it can go in the wash. But it doesn't feel too bad. It's nice and soft to wear. It's not like those the work shirts that I used to wear what really plastic <laughs> were hard. This is nice. So anyway, that's enough. Oh, uh, they're, av they're, they're available at um, Big W, I think. Doesn't matter. Anyway, when you see them, you can have a look. I'll let you know if it's any good. But it feels good at the minute. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. So cut the grass waiting for the rain hopefully it doesn't happen and we can get into some more wood cutting because i've got uh, the jig loaded up over there with with more wood going to wake the neighbors up fairly well if they haven't woken them up now with the, the lawnmower i'll uh, i'll be waking them up with a chainsaw <laughs> anyway i think they're pretty wa the, the thing about living in the country is that it's background noise when you hear someone with a chainsaw or a big big ass lawnmower uh, or, or a, you know a front end loader or something that's country noise or chooks 
you know, uh, roosters crowing, all that. It's, it's country noise and it's background noise. You get a lot of people coming out of the city and complaining about the noise. <laughs> there is more noise in the city, but it's this constant noise that you just ignore after a while. But out here, it is very quiet and it could be punctuated by someone with a chainsaw, you know. So I'm going to be doing some punctuating a little later on. And uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah, just so you know, the, the shirt is hanging in rather well. We've done all the sweating, we've done um, the chainsawing, and you can hear the neighbour is out there, I've inspired him. <laughs> I've still got to do the front here too. But according to the Weather Bureau, it's supposed to be raining right now. Yeah, well, according to the Weather Bureau, it's raining. It is raining. Somewhere, not here. We do have increasing cloud. And according to the radar, there is rain way up in New South Wales. And it's gotta be, if it's gonna get here at all, it'll be a couple of hours. Hey, it's been a bright, sunshiny day. The neighbour's cutting his grass. I've almost finished cutting mine. And we're looking good. The rain probably will come, but I, 
I don't think it's going to get to the four inches that uh, people were saying or that had been forecast, which is, thank God for that, that's a lot of rain. But um, we've got a little bit of breeze, but it's still 27 degrees, 26, 27 degrees. It's, um, hang on, I'll get my phone out and I'll just check the temp. Sorry, I can't check the temp, or can I? Wait a second. Can I check the temperature? It's 24.8. Sorry, it's not 27, it's 24.8. Feels like 23. <sighs> With the breeze, yeah, whatever. But um, it says rain. I, you can't see it on there. Um, I'd like to be able to show it to you, but it's, if you can have a look, there it is. But uh, it, it says rain, and that's, that's not raining. I wouldn't be standing here. So that's the story. Anyway, look, this video is getting long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share. And I'll keep filming. If the rain happens, you <laughs> will get it. We'll get it on tape. And um, we'll catch up with you in our next video. See you then.